Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview on how to use this expenses and income trigger build having you in mind. First of all, let me walk you through the dashboard and show you how your analytic is going to look like if you enter your data accurately. Now we have this dashboard. This dashboard actually speaks volume. It tells you much about your data, both your income and your expenses. Now you might want to track your income or your expenses on a monthly basis. Now we've built a chart that actually shows you what you spend on every single month. Now we are in January. If you want to switch from January to actually March, now we can actually switch with a very easy click. Now you can see what you spend on March. Now going back to this, we want to actually see what you spend on July. Now this is what you spent on July on a category level. Now, should you don't understand what it's all about, we categorize all your expenses for you. Now, let me show you how we did that. So, you can actually come right here and actually wipe away every category you see right here and the income category as well. You wipe it away and give your category whatever name you like. Now, right here, we have actually have this set of categories that you can actually change and put your own category. You have it up here at the right place, which is right here where we have to record our expenses this is where we keep track of all expenses that we are going to incur and in every single month so now if we enter this data we want to actually write the reason or how what you're spending this money on okay it's going to be buying buying for for office car yeah so buy fuel for office car, and I'm gonna choose a category that matches what I just you know uh, explained there. Now car and truck maintenance. Or we can see we can still start. Maybe we have a fuel. Okay, you can see fuel company score. Now it matches this very explanatory right here with the description and the category fits in it. Now maybe we spend just a hundred dollars for this. You enter it, and you're good to go. This is how easy it is for you to actually track your expenses, right? Now, let's say you exceed here. You're actually here. And the next line is this. And after this, the next line is this. So what are you going to do? I still have some days left before the month finishes. So what you need to do is, when you get to this, all you need to do the last one, not this, but this. Just click on it and drag it down and add as many as you like. When you do that, you release it. And actually click it. You see this insert click on insert and more is added you can enter your data as soon as it finishes as well you can keep adding so you can see you can keep adding keep adding so you're right here now so you're right here right now what you need to do is enter your data right here so give the reason why you spend the money Give the reason why you spend the money. Now choose a category. Pick a category. So give how much you spent on that particular category. Okay, just twelve dollars. In there, you are just done. You want to add more now? You can add more. Never click on this one where you want to add more. Don't click and add more from here. Click outside the empty and click in this very number and drag down a little bit and actually click on insert and here more is added. So when you are done, you can actually click on dashboard. So when you go to dashboard, all you need to do to have the data reflect right here automatically is for you to actually click on data and actually click on what? On refresh. When you click on refresh, everything you've entered will just show up here automatically as soon as it refreshes. It doesn't take time. I think we are almost done. As soon as it refreshes, it will, as I've said, will all of that is we actually entered we actually show up right here then we can actually start reading our data now what we have right here is the categories of the uh, of what we spend that money on now on, on fuel over time maybe from january to june or to july or to august or wherever to december how much you spend on fuel is what we're gonna have right here so it's not gonna repeat itself in category in the category level it's gonna be just coming up once now when it comes to here, we are trying to compare our revenue versus the expenses. Now if you look at here right now, we have our expenses to exceed our revenue, which means we don't have savings in this month. 
But here we have savings because we spend less than we made. Here we don't have savings, we spend much than we made. We have our revenue to exceed our we sorry, we have our expenses to exceed our revenue. So if we want to check what we even spend this money on that makes us to actually don't have revenue, what month is it? It's January. You can actually come right here and search, which is gonna make it much much swift. So we click on January, we see what we spend the money on. Now can you see that? We spend this money on this bunch of you know categories. So you see how much you spend. 215,130 dollars. So you can see on every, on every category how much we actually spend. So this is how we can actually create this. I love chat because chat gives you a very good insight. From afar you can actually tell what your data is all about. So here I'm trying to compare and contrast the expenses and the revenue. So on chat level you can actually see that in February we have a lot of revenue. But in January we have almost, you know, so, um, you know, almost, it almost elapsed, but that is not what it is. We spend far, far higher than in our every other months. Now let us go to this very uh, income tracker. In the income tracker, here is what we have right here. And those are the categories we actually have seen. So we can actually add new category. All we need to do is to go to where we add category and add category. So go to interface and click on this category and we can add new categories right here. So another. So we when I click on another category, I hit enter. So I go back to what? I go back to interface and go to I go to interface, okay, fine. Go to category, go to income, sorry, go to income and try to actually enter data right now. Maybe we actually received money from any of our income stream. So we're trying to keep the data for the money. So August. So now, what I want to do is to choose a category for it. What category? So we're going to be using under category, the one we just added. So it's going to be the where the stream the money the money how the money comes in and that category is like okay um maybe in yeah, we're gonna be a new business and um whatever you want to you want write that is all is all left to you i'm gonna say okay now this under category what we made is like this business is boom it's gonna be six thousand dollars Wow, six thousand dollars. We hit enter, and now we are done. So we want to see. Now we want to actually see how much we spent on this category over time. Uh, maybe we have this category twice. So I'm gonna like double it. For me to show you an illustration of how it works, I'm gonna double this into three. So different dates, and the same category. But here we don't make that much. We make just two hundred two thousand dollars, and here we make just a hundred dollars oh i have to choose this come back here and make this okay so now it's fine so we can go back to what to the dashboard right now by clicking this we go back to dashboard so here is what here is the expense of the income dashboard so what we make here is income dashboard if you look at this we have income view based on categories so now you can see all the categories of the income we actually have coming in the income stream we actually have and the month is, we actually make this income and as well we have this very uh, in, uh, income based on yield on a on a yield basis though so now what we need to do to have that very data come uh, in automatically is actually clicking on data and go to refresh and refresh it because we use pp table to actually create this so we're going to have it populate right here right now i uh, hope you remember the category we just added so let's just watch and see what happens all right it's coming up almost here so now we're going to have it so what do we have Wow, we have it under categories right here. So we have under category to be seized two thousand eight hundred dollars. This two thousand eight hundred dollars. So now we can actually go like, okay, in what year did we spend this money? 
our ticket is in year 2020 so it's when we go to the category so we'll go right here and we can actually see based on monthly wise we see how much we made in this particular year so now you can see the most month we make a huge amount of money is in February it starts in February and what we made much money on is on salary so maybe those other stream or salary and other revenue which we not specifically uh, given the name and this new category as well is what we're making money from and the year we made much money is actually in the year 2020 so the year 2021 we don't make much money and i've told you that this year 2021 is actually a template that's gonna be blank till that year comes so you gotta start entering your data like that this is everything you need to know about this template and how to use it, how to update it, every single thing like that, like that. So if you don't understand the particular thing that I've explained to you guys, all you just need to do is to go to the comment section and actually ask any question. I actually come straight and answer your question and show you what it is. If I need to make a video specifically all for you just to get your understanding, I'm going to make that very video for you. All you just need to do is to like, share this to your friends, they might like it, download it, use it all for free, call me if you need any um, other functionality to be added to it and all of that, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this very good with your friend that you have this very free template that you can use to keep your data and actually have it analyzed for you at the same time. Alright, I just want to say thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate, stay safe.